guys what's up it's me priscilla and as you can tell we just did a sketchbook tour the biggest sketchbook i've ever filled and now i am going back to my little moleskin sketchbook i really like these sketchbooks they're great quality and i love the size it's like a nine by five or something it's it's really small and so it's just nice to carry around on instagram i asked a lot of you how can i start off this sketchbook what should be like the first two pages that everybody sees in the sketchbook and a lot of you suggested as you saw to draw myself so it's always nice to do like a little mini meet the artist once again and just doing like this new style i'm loving drawing in um don't know if it'll continue with this style but you know i just like drawing like this is my version of chibi style and yes i really like these suggestions as well i'm gonna go on and just fill up both of these pages and the next suggestion was carl and ellie since carl and ellie was a huge theme for Steven and I because let's just face it Carl and Ellie are literally goals in life they're my favorite Disney couple by far and then we get a horse oh, I'm like yeah I like that idea yeah so I wanted to make more of like a cartoony horse and I made him look like Bert's horse from Mary Poppins just with that smug looking face the funny looking face like he's got like a really big jaw and then your version of Matilda and I was like oh well I love this book I read this when I was in elementary school and I love the movie grew up watching the movie and I always wanted to have telekinetic powers after seeing Matilda and I love the musical as well so I wanted to go ahead and draw Matilda in this newfound style I have and then a narwhal of course I'm gonna put a narwhal it's adorable <laughs> and then going on I really like hot air balloons well, me too. And so I went ahead and drew a hot air balloon. Um, I tried to make it more of one of the original hot air balloons with like all the ropes and everything. Not something that you see today. So that was a total fail, but I tried to make up for it. And then a ton of you said, because it's right around the corner, Tom Holland, Tom Holland, Tom Holland. Um, of course I'm gonna draw Tom Holland after all of those suggestions, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. So I remember drawing in my moleskin something from Spider-Man when the first Far, Far From Home, no, no, Far From Home's a new one. So the first Spider-Man, I remember drawing one of the still images of Tom Holland. So it was different coming back and redrawing Tom Holland compared to the first time I drew him. And I really liked the first way that I drew him. So this was more of a challenge, but I was trying to outdo myself on the first Tom Holland that I drew a long, long time ago in one of the moleskins that I used to carry around with me everywhere. I really like moleskins. I think they're a fantastic sketchbook. Um, so this one was Ladybug. Everybody was suggesting Ladybug or Cat Noir. And I wanted to go ahead and draw at least Ladybug. I didn't know where to put Cat Noir because there was a couple other suggestions that I wanted to go ahead and draw. And um, anyways, back to my point. I did not see any Illo sketchbooks available to buy when I was looking for a new sketchbook. And so I went ahead and went back to good old Faithful, which happened to be a moleskin sketchbook. And right now I am drawing Mr. Stitch because I had a ton of suggestions for Stitch. And I kind of found this still image of him like poking his butt out, like he's shaking his butt, like do 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 do. So now his butt is in Tom Holland's face. <laughs> ahead and I started lining all of my little doodles in a Copic fine liner and I switched back and forth from a micron fine liner to a Copic fine liner. I love the PN micron liners. Um, what's nice about the moleskin sketchbooks is that these liners of course do not bleed and if you use heavy inks like if you use a brush pen brush inking it does not bleed or show on the other side of the page. It's able to handle heavy inks the only thing that bleeds through onto the other side are like copic markers but i feel like every kind of sketchbook is not going to be able to not bleed through to the other side of copic markers so that's what's nice about moleskins i really enjoyed that um i have not tried watercolor yet in moleskins but i'm really interested to try it with this one probably going to carry around a little watercolor palette. I do have a watercolor palette and I'm going to try to carry it around and just see if the moleskin pages can handle watercolor. But looking through a couple of inspirations for moleskins on how people fill them up and everything. I've seen Copic markers. Copic markers work great. Um, 
but I have not, I have seen a couple of watercolors. I do not know if they show onto the other side. Ah, that I really tried hard with this hot air balloon. I didn't want to completely fill up the hot air balloon with ropes because that's how they used to be. They used to crisscross the ropes on old heart uh, heart heart balloons, <laughs> hot air balloons. So that's why I didn't crisscross. I was like, oh, I don't want to do this entire thing. Maybe this just can be a pattern or something. I tried, I tried, I tried, but. I really love Carl and Ellie in this picture. Mm, he's so cute. So you will see one more doodle I go ahead and fill in the top corner because my overall goal for this entire sketchbook, I love the size of it. I used to carry it around in my purse. The thing is this sketchbook does fit in every single purse that I own. I remember carrying it around New York City back when I went to go see a couple of shows on Broadway last time I visited and it fit in every single purse and it was so nice to carry around in just a couple of pens and pencils. Now, a lot of you asked, what was your favorite moment from your wedding or your honeymoon or one of my absolute favorite moments and a lot of people who have gotten married that you know of will probably say this is the first dance. Uh, Steven and my first dance were to the, what, were to song, was to the song City of Stars from La La Land. It was the one song we could actually agree on. So we went ahead and we did our first dance to City of Stars and that by far was my most favorite, favorite moment from my wedding. To be honest, the actual song, our song was from all the stars from Black Panther because we I remember one of our first dates was to see Black Panther and I love that movie so much and um, all the stars played and it was at the time right before we both knew we were in love with each other but it was after that trip that we both said that I love you and it just held so much significance to me that all the stars was just something that was always our song but since it's not really an appropriate <laughs> song to do a first dance to we did not do our first dance to all the stars we agreed that that was our song but city of stars we watched la la land and he absolutely loved la la land and he just he knew that that was basically our song was city of stars because it was just it's just a magical moment if you've ever seen la la land and how magical the moment is with both sebastian and mia but that was our song so i thought i'd go ahead and explain that and went ahead and just outlined everybody in color i didn't want to fill everybody in color i wanted to have kind of like this old vintagey kind of look to it so you see i go around and i just outline everything and a color around them or just not a really a color that surrounds the actual character or moment and then I went in with some warm grays and filled them in just to once again give it that black and white kind of look but with more of a warmer touch and I feel like that really added to it so it was minimal color but this awesome kind of vintage beginning to a sketchbook so I really really loved love this idea of asking for your suggestions thank you everybody who actually gave me your suggestions on Instagram I loved looking through all the the suggestions and I picked out my favorites or what I saw the most and I was like yep I'll pick this one I want to draw this one and this one and most of the decisions were just who could I fit on these two little pages all together and you see i go ahead and i write the number one goal for the sketchbook beginning of the sketchbook next time you see it i'm going to fill the sketchbook all the way up to its full capacity like i'm not going to leave a single page open i'm going to try to draw on every single page that is the goal for this sketchbook and seeing how it's a little sketchbook i should be able to do it and i can't wait to show you guys this i put the date on it to show you how long it takes me to get the sketchbook done so i will see you probably in a couple months to go ahead and show you what it looks like inside. See y'all later. Bye!